It's time for Anello Answers It. You may remember in February, we brought you an Anello Answers It about La Nina, but we talked about how over the summer that oscillation was going to change to El Nino. Well, the time is now, so let's walk through exactly what El Nino means for your forecast for the rest of the year. Well, we did just make that change, but El Nino refers to the now warming of the Pacific Ocean, where La Nina is the cooling. When we're in an El Nino year, we also see weaker trade winds, which leads to a less active Atlantic hurricane season, which is why things have been so dormant over the past few months in the Atlantic. Here's exactly how it all works. Now, in a normal year, we have strong trade winds that blow from east to west, and they push those warmer surface waters closer to Asia. That's called Enso neutral. However, this year, or this summer, I should say, for El Nino, now those winds are blowing from west to east. And in fact, they're much weaker, which means that the Pacific Ocean is now the area that is warm. Warming. So what that means for our forecast really means it's going to change what our winter looks like. In the far northern United States, they'll have a very warm winter. In the deep south, they'll have a soggy winter. And right where we are in the Tennessee Valley, we'll be looking at much drier conditions. Well, that's El Nino. That's how it affects your Atlantic hurricane season and how it's going to impact your wintertime forecast. That's all for Anello Answers It this week. If you have a weather question, be sure to email it to me at gianello at waytv.com because I would love to hear from you.